everyone welcome back to my youtube channel getassist.net and a new video of the seo series in today's video i'm going to talk about what are meta tags and how to use them in the right way so this video is going to help you a lot in your on-page seo journey so without wasting any more time let's get started with the video The title tag is the clickable title of a web page that appears with the results on the search engine results page. It is also often called page titles, website titles or HTML titles. To set a page title, you have to use the title tag in the HTML around your text. Most content management systems like WordPress have forms to automatically set title tags around the page titles on your website when creating new pages. As Google only displays 60 to 70 characters of a page title in the results, you should try to make your SEO titles around 60 characters long. Clear title tags will go a long way towards making your website easy to read and understand. Title tags tell people and search engines the topic of the web page. They also tell search engines how relevant a page is to a searcher's query. Here are some tips regarding how to make your title tags SEO friendly. Keep titles about 55 to 60 characters long. Use target keywords in your titles. Try to describe your page content in the best possible way. Use words like how, why, what and where as that will help people understand what they will find on the page. To attract users to click, you can use words like best, review or ultimate. Write unique titles as duplicates will not take you a long way. Use your company name or brand wisely. A meta description is an HTML tag used to describe the content of a web page. This description will show up below the title and URL of your page as it appears in the search engine results. Meta descriptions have the power to increase or decrease your results click-through rates if you keep these things in mind. The meta description should be kept somewhere between 140 to 160 characters. Try to write a compelling description that makes people to visit your web page. Avoid using duplicate meta descriptions. Also, using a keyword in the body of the meta description is a relevancy signal for search engines that can help your rankings. But that doesn't mean you can go on stuffing keywords in your descriptions. Header tags are also known as heading tags and are used to separate headings and subheadings on a web page. They are used to improve the readability and SEO of a web page. Header tags are used in order of importance from H1 to H6 where the H1 tag is used for the title. Here is a list of header tags and what they are used for. H1 is used for the title of a post. They are usually keyword centric and are created in a way to attract the readers and make them understand what the post is going to be about. H2 is used for subheadings that classify the main points of your paragraphs and separate sections. You can use keywords related to the main keyword while creating H2 tags for your post so that the readers can easily find what sections they want to read. H3 tags are used for subsections that further classify the information given in H2. H4 tags are used for subsections that further classify the information given in H3. And similarly, you can go up to H6. Canonical tags are used to tell the search engines that a specified URL is the master copy of a page. They allow you to specify the canonical URL for a page. A canonical link allows webmaster to prevent duplicate content issues by specifying the canonical or preferred version of a web page. A canonical URL is the master URL for a set of duplicate pages. It is the URL of the page that Google thinks is the most representative from a set of duplicate pages on your website. Found in the header section of a web page's HTML source code, a canonical tag looks like this. Here on the official page of Google, you can read all about canonical URL and how Google indexes and chooses the canonical URL. Alt tags or alt attributes are alternative text for an image. 
Alt tags are used to describe the image or what the image is representing. Alt tags help search engines associate images with the web page's content so they can properly index it within their search results. Alt tags also help search engines determine the best results to provide when a user searches for images. The robot's meta tag tells search engine to either index or non-index your web page. The tag has four main values for the search engine crawlers. First one is follow. The search engine crawler will follow all the links in that web page. Second is index. The search engine crawler will index the whole web page. And the third one is no follow. The search engine crawler will not follow the page and any links in that web page. And the last one is no index. The search engine crawler will not index that web page. You can use the following syntax for your robot's meta tag. Here's what that robots.txt file means. The user agent named Googlebot is not allowed to crawl any URL that starts with this link. All other user agents are allowed to crawl the entire site. This could have been omitted and the result would be the same. The default behavior is that user agents are allowed to crawl the entire site. The site's sitemap file is located at this link. Open graph meta tags and Twitter cards make social media syncing easier. Open graph meta tags promote integration between Facebook, LinkedIn, Google and your website. Here is a sample of how open graph tags look like in standard HTML. Twitter cards work in a similar way to open graph except for Twitter. Twitter will use these tags to enhance the display of your page when shared on their platform. Here is a sample of how Twitter cards look like in standard HTML. So yeah, with that, we have reached the end of the video. I hope the knowledge of meta tags will take you a step forward in your on-page SEO journey. And if you have any doubts or queries regarding anything related to SEO, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. You can also write your suggestions and feedback for our SEO series. And for now, I will take the leave. We'll see you the next time.